Hello friends, welcome back. This is the final video of SCOM Quick Lab Setup. I am on a SCOM server. You can see over here. So we have to attach SCOM ISO on SCOM server. So go to settings, same thing, storage, and then you can see I have already attached. So you have to attach from here, provide the path of ISO and uh, you can download the this system center 2012 operation from microsoft websites you will get 180 days evaluation version so now go to explorer double click on cd dvd drive click on install and first we are going to install management server and operation console okay we will see web server web console and reporting server in uh, future videos because for learning scom we need these two servers as of now click on next click on next it will verify the prerequisites so you can see the prerequisite requires report viewer control check okay that is not installed so you can download it from here if you have internet access i have already downloaded i have put it in shared folder vbox that is shared for virtual box so now you from scom server we can access that 168.1.1 provide the credential we can run this report viewer 2010 It is very small it won't take much time once it is installed we can rerun the prerequisite so you can verify prerequisite again okay finish also install this one it might be there already okay we need sailor types sql 2012 so first install this one these are uh, easily available on microsoft website okay so click on verify prerequisite again 
all prerequisites have passed now click on next and here we this is the first management server and so we are not going to add this management server to any existing management group so we have to provide management group name i am going to provide it is com test click on next accept the license and here we have to provide the sql server name and instance name is by default so if you are getting any error then you can you can check the window firewall it should be off in lab environment so you can see it is automatically populated everything means other fields you can click on next and the previous one was for operation operational database and if we click on next it is for data warehouse so uh, everything alerts and whatever we have configured it is stored in operational database okay after some days alerts move from operational database to data warehouse for reporting purpose by default it is seven days after seven days operational database can we move to data warehouse okay we are going to use same sql server okay click on next and then here we have to provide four users so you can provide four different users for that these users should be in active directory so we will go to scom dc1 and we will create those users so you can go to users active directory users and computers under smart lab dot in we can create one organizational group organizational unit name it scom users so click on new sorry click on new users first name we can write is com last name ms a okay management server action account ms a user login is is com ms a next and then provide the password same for others scom system center configuration service so we can write sscs this depends upon you dra dwa
okay we have successfully created the users and then we have to add these users to domain admins okay so create one group you can call it as a scom users okay and we can add these users to this group okay now if you can go to properties members these are the four members and then we have to go to users and under domain admins this group we have to add that that is com user groups to this group so it has access to domain admins means it has same thing with the domain admins okay now we can provide the password over here so first was is com our domain is smart lab slash is com msa password and then you can enable this account okay so these users are used for different purpose so this management server action account this is used for uh, discovery and other thing if you click over there you can see these credential are used to gather operational data from providers to run response and to perform actions and for this one you can also expand this you can read the, the purpose means why these accounts are used okay this is for reporting i guess reports yeah and then this is also for reports read data from operational manager database and write data from a management server to a data warehouse database means it will take data from operational manager database to and put right into the management server to the data warehouse database okay these are only can be configured as, as a domain accounts okay these they should be domain accounts you can click on next actually we have added that uh, a, a scom msa msa account to admin group so it is uh, giving us warning for security reason this is not recommended okay so you can do one thing you can just you can go to scom users and from scom users you can remove it okay so this is sscs Okay, now if you click on next one more error DRA correct might be password is incorrect 
yeah password was incorrect so you can click on no because we are not going to participate click on next we are going to off the updates click on next and hit install okay actually it will take about 10 to 20 minutes so I will be back once it is done all right welcome back so we have successfully installed scom server also so we have installed management server as well as console management console okay or we can say operations console so we can uncheck this or uh, you can check this one no issue so i'm going to close everything and reboot the server once okay after we restart please give some time to set everything because you know sometimes service won't start and if you start this com operation manager then you will get some error okay so now we will open operations console okay so we have successfully installed scom server and we are the end of our this course scom quick lab setup i will make another playlist for scom only in those video i will show you how to discover the agents and how to install agents on the clients so in our next live i mean that is focus on scom uh, administration only so this is the part of uh, quick lab setup so we have just successfully set up our scom lab and everything is working fine till now now we are going to discover the clients okay for that we need to install two windows machines okay then we will look for the monitoring perspective and management packs and other things if you have any queries and if you're not able to set up your lab you can just whatsapp me or or mail me or you can put it in comment i will reach you as soon as possible okay give a thumbs up if you also done the setup thanks for watching I will come back with new videos only on SCOM. Bye bye.